Happy Friday, it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen for another edition of Football Foodie Friday. We've got an amazing recipe for you this week, but in case you've missed any of the previous recipes, don't forget you can log on to our website, 1037lightfm.com, and check those out. I am really excited about today's, and I want to thank Melissa Flower Mound for sending us this one. I love loaded baked potatoes, and I am a sucker for waffle fries. And the two come together beautifully today. So go to the freezer section of your grocer, find your favorite waffle fry, frozen waffles, uh, and throw them in the oven. Get those going before you make the dip. That's going to be the longest part of this. Everything else, super simple. Let's take a look at the ingredients we're working with today. You want two cups or 16 ounces of sour cream, two cups of shredded cheese, you want about eight strips of bacon. If you really love bacon, you can do more than that, but really cook nice to a crisp, chopped up about a third of a cup of chopped chives, and then just two teaspoons of your favorite hot sauce, whatever you want. That's it. Grab your bowl, your spoon. First thing you're going to do is take your sour cream. Remember the waffle fries are cooking in the oven while you're doing all this, and you want those nice and crispy. Sour cream goes in. Next, the cheese. And I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, this is absolutely delicious. And you want to make sure that it's mixed nice and even because we've got a few more ingredients going in here and you want it all to be balanced out. Bacon, again to your liking, if that's not enough for you, put more in. Mix that up. Chives. And we're doing these all individually just so we can get a nice balance to the dip. And then after the chives, your two teaspoons of your hot sauce. got that ready, clear the table. You know I'm all about presentation. Once your waffle fries come out and they have a chance to cool, grab your serving dish. Got your waffle fries ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is grab the dish for the dip. And you can either top this off with some more chives, some more crumbled bacon. I think I'm going to use a little pepper, just a tad bit like that. And you are done with this week's football foodie recipe. The real test comes when the friends and family come over and dip in. Mm. Heaven in my mouth. Don't forget to submit your recipe at 1037lightfm.com. Enjoy it. Maybe next week I'll be featuring yours.